Here's your 41 Action News update. I'm Kevin Holmes with 41 Action News. Here are your headlines for Friday, February 7th. Today, a highly anticipated report came out offering new insight into how the new coronavirus affects patients. This is the report clinicians and public health leaders worldwide have waited for to understand exactly how that virus works. It details the cases of 138 people at the epicenter of the outbreak in Wuhan, China. 90% had a fever, 70% fatigue, 59% experienced a dry cough, 39% had a loss of appetite, and 34% experienced body aches. The risk for severe complications of the new coronavirus increases with age and for those with underlying health conditions. There are no available treatments for any human coronavirus, according to the CDC. Those who catch a common coronavirus usually recover on their own, and doctors say the best way to avoid it is something they advise people to do all the time. The most important thing to help prevent illness from this virus at this point in time is proper hand washing and good hand hygiene, as well as avoiding putting your hands in your eyes, your nose, or your mouth because that is a way, common way, that there is a lot of this disease spread. Having the Super Bowl champions in your city means paying a little more to see them play. Tickets for Last says fans can expect a 5 to 10% increase in Chiefs tickets next season, and that doesn't include price hikes based on who the Chiefs play. Tickets for Last says it'll start selling single game tickets once the Chiefs schedule is released in April. Gary Lezak, how about those Chiefs? Chiefs. Yeah, it's very great to have that problem. 42 degrees Saturday, 47 degrees Sunday, 36 Monday. A little storm Tuesday into Wednesday. And right now, Valentine's Day looks a little on the cold side, but no big storm showing up at this moment. We'll see that in about 10 days. That could change. All right, have a fantastic weekend. Remember to get your news and weather anytime at KSHB.com.